Hello and thanks for stopping by to check out this project. Last week my daughter and I put together this wood frame and painter's tarp. It's a clear plastic 2 mil painter's tarp, uh, which works pretty well as far as projecting a digital holographic image onto it. Um, our, we're going to be using the Atmosphere FX digital displays for our Halloween decorations this year. As we were manipulating the frame and the uh, projection material that the tarp to get it into the garage door it occurred to me that this is going to be a one-time use project because this tarp will rip it's not going to be uh, very easily disassembled and once you do disassemble it I don't know if I'll be able to get back together because it's just uh, lengths of eight foot and seven foot one by two put together so after we put that all up and check tested it out I decided that I was going to try and put something together that would be a, a frame that would be easily disassembled and reassembled for next year and stored in a closet or maybe in the attic with all the rest of our Halloween decorations. So that's what I'm going to put together now using these PVC pipes and some joints that I'll be able to disassemble the frame, pack up the tarp, and put it in the attic for storage. The tarp I'm going to use with the PVC frame that I'm going to test out is a frosted shower curtain liner. Uh, the painter's tarp is extremely transparent and you can see the projector shining through it uh, from the back and uh, I think the frosted shower line curtain may work out to be a better a better material or a better medium to use in order to view the images. So I'm gonna put that together, I'll assemble it and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Here are the finished products side by side, the wood frame with the plastic painter's tarp and the PVC with the shower curtain. First thing you can notice is that the wrinkles that are in the plastic painter's tarp are there, they're permanent. I can't get them out because I've stretched it as much as I could and then I actually threw a heat gun to it to try and stretch it out a little bit more which got some of the wrinkles out but not all of them. Uh, that is permanently affixed to the wood frame using staples and spray adhesive. The shower curtain on the PVC is connected to the PVCs using these 4 inch snap clamps uh, available for uh, greenhouses and mosquito netting for PVC. So the PVC material is a half inch PVC pipe with these clamps and four corner joints, 90 degree angle corner joints. And once that was set, the glue was put in, it takes less than three minutes to put all the pipes together, set it up, and attach the, uh, the shower curtain to the frame. And also you can see it's much less, there are much less wrinkles in that one because you can manipulate the shower curtain using these clamps and get it nice and tight and not have to worry about the, uh, the wrinkles that are in there. Both of these materials are intended to have the viewing image projected from the rear and because of the fact that the painter's tarp is much more clear and transparent it shows the beam from the projector coming through or the light out of the projector much more readily than the shower curtain does and the uh, shower curtain I believe because it's a little more opaque uh, will show the image in a little bit sharper a little bit clearer and it will also hide that projector light a little bit better so let's go ahead and put these uh, up at night and show you a side-by-side -side comparison with the display, the digital images being shown on each of them. Okay, here's the display on the tarp. I've got two versions of the recordings running. The first two will be the standard that came with the uh, digital download. The second versions are a zoomed in down version that I did uh, zooming in the animations using a video editor. Next you're going to see the same two animations but the zoomed in versions on the plastic tarp.
first two scenes are the original from the uh, Atmosphere FX down digital downloads. And I have two versions of this running. The first one is the originals, and the second versions that you'll see, I have zoomed in and enlarged them to make them larger. The projection material I'm using now is a frosted shower curtain liner. It's 108 inches by 72 inches, I believe. And the image that you're seeing with the bright light from behind, the bright light in, in life, real life, sitting here looking at the image, is not nearly as disruptive as it seems to be coming through the camera. I don't know if that will translate. So here are the enlarged images of the, of the display.